So uveal melanoma is a cancer that arises from uh, cells called melanocytes. And these melanocytes are basically the pigment cells of the body that most commonly are found on the skin. Um, and like any other cell in the body, they can uh, transform into a cancer cell. It's a tricky disease. Um, you know, certainly in a proportion of cases, so maybe a third of cases, patients will present with symptoms. And, and these are just changes in vision, seeing spots, a little bit of blurriness, um, a little bit of visual haziness. But in another significant fraction of patients, um, the uveal melanoma is found incidentally. I was diagnosed earlier this year. I just started noticing some weird movement in my peripheral vision. Um, and then over the ensuing days, just noticed that I couldn't really see up anymore. <laughs> so I just thought it was something that was go would go away. It didn't go away after a couple of days. After I uh, got the confirmation of the tumor and, and the size and had more of an idea of what my prognosis was, um, I told my brothers and sisters, but I actually only told my mom about a month ago. In many ways, my mom's reaction was maybe similar to mine, kind of just speechless, because it's it's so mind-boggling to wrap your mind uh, uh, like um, that that I have something that no one knew existed. I'm perfectly healthy. I feel fine, but someone has just told me I might die. I had um, radiation therapy where they insert a radioactive piece of material directly into the eye. They surgically implant it next to the tumor. And then uh, a couple of days later, uh, go back and, and remove that piece of radioactive material, that radioactive plaque. I'm very thankful that my husband is a molecular biologist, bio, biochemist. Um, it's a great uh, burden relief, I guess, you know, to have somebody who, who you trust, who immediately understands it and can ask very challenging questions of the, of the doctor. It's a great comfort. I have uh, vision issues now. Um, the vision in my left eye is increasingly distorted. I think the scarier part though is the metastasis watch. Uveal melanoma has been a difficult disease to treat for many, many reasons, but certainly a large part of it is because of the way that it attacks the liver. When you look at um, the responses to cancers in the liver versus responses to cancers outside the liver for a number of therapies, the liver is just in general harder to treat. The responses are just lower. When we look at the historical outcomes for these patients with metastatic disease, um, they, they just have not been good. You know, in, in the end, we're talking about a year. PERIO-01 is a clinical trial that's really been designed to overcome a lot of the barriers we face when we're treating uveal melanoma liver metastases. So this is a clinical trial that's studying a novel agent called SD-101, which is basically designed to shut down the bad immune cells within the, in the, within the liver um, and activate the good immune cells within the liver. This medicine is being administered using a pressure-enabled device that can overcome those high interstitial pressures we find within the tumors in the liver. Um, and then finally, uh, we're combining this therapy with um, systemic checkpoint inhibition with anti-PD-1 therapy uh, as well as anti-CTLA-4-based therapy. And, and we believe by combining that systemic checkpoint inhibition therapy with this recently administered SD-101 therapy, we can really meaningfully benefit patients. The goal is always going to be cure. And, and I think, you know, that's still a, it's still a lofty goal, but I think all of the things that we're studying, um, you know, this PERIO-1 trial and others, I, I think are really, really important in, in, in getting us ultimately to, that, to that, that goal of cure. Science can advance so much in five, 10 years that, uh, that if I do get bad news, that there are going to be options for me, uh, and that's really encouraging.